Formal verification is the process of turning your code into math. You can sort of think of it as unit tests on roids. And for the longest time, this skill was siloed off to the gig brains of Web3. But now, the tools are becoming more and more usable. It's important we get better at formal verification because if you mess up your smart contract, you lose half a billion dollars. So I'm going to show you three formal verification tools that we can use very easily. To demonstrate formal verification skill, I have specifically crafted this function to be hell for any manual auditor and would give even Milo truck a heart attack. First off, it uses adds for subtractions, divisions for additions, multiplications for divisions, subtractions for multiplications. And then we have functions which wrap our integers, a function add, which actually divides, even though add up here says subtract, and all these functions are wrong. But you think that's bad, right in the function, we actually have a few variables, number, 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 which all look very similar, but are all slightly different with a slightly different number. And then finally, we have our function hell func with an invariant, this function must never revert, which just does all types of nonsense. So as an auditor to figure out where this function reverts, you could 100% walk through it manually, but I'm going to show you where form of verification is a much better way. First off, let me show you that fuzzing actually doesn't catch this. So we have a test here where we're just doing a static call to this function and we're asserting that the function does not revert. So if I run this test in our terminal here with 250 runs, we actually do not catch the issue. In fact, if we go to our foundry toml and bump the number up to 1000 and then we rerun the test, we still don't catch the issue. Our first form of verification test is going to be with Halmos, where we can actually take that exact same foundry fuzz test that we just run and just slap Halmos on top of it, and it'll run a form of verification on that foundry fuzz test. We just run Halmos dash dash function and the name of the fuzz test that we want to do form of verification on, and Halmos is going to automatically convert this into math and then solve. And boom, after maybe about 20 seconds, we get the counter example. We get the counter example where the number 99 is actually the issue, and this is correct. Our form of verification was able to find the bug. Next, control. The test looks exactly the same as the Halmos slash foundry test. The only addition is we've added this kevm.infinite gas cheat code. To run control, we first need to build all of our contracts with recompile with a K and then prove it. So we're going to run that. And while this is running, it might be a good idea to go get a coffee or go for a run. A few inches later. Once it's built, we can run the control prover which again, you might have to go take a nap for. Then after you run the model, you can actually view the nodes and view the models and look into where it failed or where it passed. And then finally, Sertora. For Sertora, we actually have to take a step back and use a special language called CVL designed specifically for form of verification. We create a rule slash invariant saying health funk must never revert. We add some requires to tell Sertora to not randomize storage. We say, let's call this function and assert that it never reverted. We then can run this Sertora command with Sertora run, and we're gonna get this beautiful output with a UI to actually show us what happened in this formal verification run and oh job completed view the results here so let's go ahead and click on this and let's see what this looks like in the Satori UI we can click on this we can hide a lot of these issues here and we can go right to the variables and see oh number 99 causes the failure we can then click on the exact run that it used right here and see why it failed and see sure enough 99 is the issue thank you for finding this for us sertora you can find all the code for this in the cypher sc exploits minimized git repo go to test invariant break form of verification and see the halmos control and sertora and then additionally where the fuzzing fails this was a speed run of form of verification you can now tell your friends you have the mathematical power to convert code into math